Okay, so I want to show you how to use image J to measure area. So I've got image J open here. So I'm going to go file open and open up one of the pictures that I have. And so you can see this is some leaves that we want to measure the area on. And we also have the ruler in the picture, which is essential. You got to have this in every picture uh, because you can't guarantee that the camera is the same distance from the surface every time. And so that's why we want to have this in each image. Um, so we're going to use this so that we set the proper scale. We've got to do that before we get started. So I'm going to kind of hover my mouse over this and I'm going to use the plus key on my keyboard which is going to allow me to zoom in. And so now I've got some known areas that I can use, some known distances that I can use to set the scale. So I'm going to come up here and grab this straight line and I'm going to click and drag to make a line of known length. So this line is five millimeters. You see one, two, three, four, five. Now I like to do it between these two larger ones. You know, it's important that this is exactly five millimeters, so it's important that this line is perpendicular. And so, you know, if the line was like this or like this, well, that's longer than five millimeters. So I use it like this, and I use the shorter ticks to help me get that nice and square. So that's a five millimeter long line. So now I'm going to come up here to Analyze and Set Scale. And so that's how long that line is in pixels, which I know is five millimeters. So I'm going to change the known distance to five. The aspect ratio, I don't need to change. And the unit of length is millimeter. Now I don't necessarily have to bother with putting this in. Um, but the important thing is that you get the known distance in. And so then make sure you hit OK. And now I'm able to measure things with the proper scale because I've just set the scale. So I'm going to hit the minus key on my keyboard to zoom back out. And so now I'm ready to measure the area of these leaves. So I need to be able to select the leaf and nothing else. So what I'm going to use is this magic wand tool. I'm going to click on it. And when I click on one of these leaves, it should automatically get selected. And so I click on it and, well, not so much. But here's what's going on. If I zoom in where I clicked, you see you got that little itty bitty thing selected. It's being very picky. So the magic wand is trying to select all the pixels that look like this pixel that I clicked on but it's being super picky, and so it's not choosing any others. Um, so what I want to do is, uh, I want it to be more tolerant. I want to increase the tolerance. So the way I do that is I come up to the wand tool, and I'm going to double click and open up this dialog box. And you see the tolerance is set to zero, so it's got no tolerance. It's very picky. So I'm just going to start cranking up the tolerance. And if you watch, you see as I crank up the tolerance, now the selection gets more and more realistic. And it's not perfect, but I'm going to keep cranking this up until it's to where I, I like it, to where it's selecting the leaf, but nothing more than the leaf. And so there I'm getting pretty good, I'm getting pretty good, I'm getting pretty good. 60 looks really good. 60 seems to have it selected well. So then I'm going to hit OK. Uh, now I'm going to hit minus on my keyboard to kind of zoom back out so I can see where I'm at. So now you see I've got that leaf selected. And so now I want to measure the area of that leaf. So I want to make sure that I'm measuring area. So I come back up here to analyze and I go to set measurements. And here's all the things I could measure. Lots of different things I could measure and I could record. And I don't really need any of them. I just need the area. So make sure the area is checked and nothing else. So we hit OK. And so now I'm going to measure the area. So I'll come up here to Analyze. And I choose Measure. And you see the results window popped up. And here's the area. 
And this area is in square millimeters because I set the scale when we first started. If you don't set the scale, then these numbers are just in pixels and that's not useful. And so there you go. So I've got the area of my first leaf. So I've got my magic wand. So I come here and I click on this leaf and that looks good. So I go analyze, measure, and I just keep doing that until I measure all my leaves. And so I click on this leaf and it's selected. And you can go to analyze, measure, but you'll notice that you can also use your keyboard and the keyboard shortcut is control M. And so once you get comfortable, this is a lot faster. And so I've got it selected and on the keyboard, I'm holding down control and hitting M. And so that's a lot quicker. And so then I click on this one and I could go control M and there you go. And so now I've got the values that I need. And so I'm going to need to transfer them to an Excel spreadsheet. And that's how I'm going to be able to keep track of all the different things I measure. So I want to open up Excel and make a new spreadsheet. And so I need to keep track of which leaves come from which plants. So the first column is going to be the plant. And then if I look, I've got, uh, you know, these numbers. This is leaf number one, leaf number two, leaf number three. It's just to keep them separate. So this is going to be leaf. And then if I look at my results, this is the area in square millimeters. So I'm going to say area underscore millimeters underscore two. And you want to avoid putting spaces in these headers. It's a good habit to get into. It makes your life a lot easier down the road. And you also want to, if you want this to, these columns to be, you know, see how this kind of leaks into the next column. If you come up here and you see how my cursor changes, changes shape. When it changes to that shape, if I double click, see it automatically resizes. Okay, so this is the information that I want. And so this is going to be plant number one. So now I come back and I go to edit, select all, or I could just use a keyboard shortcut, control A, and then I can go edit, copy, or I can use the keyboard shortcut, control C. And then I come back here and I choose this cell and I can go clipboard, paste, or I can go control V on the keyboard. They both work. And there you go. I've transferred my data to my spreadsheet. Now, you don't want to leave these blank. Every row has to ha have all the cells filled. So you want to copy this down because each of these came from plant one. And so now I've got the data in my spreadsheet. So I can come over here and I can, while these are selected, I can just hit the delete key on my keyboard and clear them out. You want to clear this out because otherwise when you do your next image it'll just add to that and you'll just keep repeating the data so if you're if you've moved the data to your spreadsheet you can go ahead and just delete it and get rid of it you can also go to edit clear there's lots of ways to to do the same thing and so now i want to come back over to image j and you notice that image j has got these different windows and so like they're all kind of hidden if you don't click on them a, a shortcut to bring them all to the front is hold down the control button and the right bracket and that brings them all to the front and so we're done with this image so we're going to close it now it's going to ask me if I want to save changes which I don't we didn't really do anything worth saving so don't save and then I'm just going to file open and open a different image and now I'm just going to repeat those steps for each of my plants and each of my images, save the data to a spreadsheet, and there you go. And the only other thing to worry about is, um, again, the tolerance of this magic wand, and you just want to make sure that it is selecting your leaf, but not other leaves, not, not, not extra things, or, or make sure that it's selecting all the leaf. So if I click on this one, that looks good. And so I can go Control M, and there's the area. But now look what happened. What did I forget to do? 
you see the area is like 6,000, where in my first one, the areas are only like 300. So what, you know, that's a, is that leaf that much bigger? No. What did I forget to do? I forgot to set the scale. So I'm going to come back down here to the ruler. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to use my straight line tool. I have to do this for every image because you're not going to hold the camera the same, you know, the, you, you won't have the camera the same distance from the surface every time. So you got to do this for every image. And I just showed you what happens if you don't do that. So again, this is five millimeters. So I go to analyze, set scale, change that to five millimeters. And I don't really need to change this, so I'm not going to bother with it. Now I'm going to hit the minus key to zoom back out. Whoops, I zoomed out too far. Now I got my magic wand and I'm going to select that control M and you see that's the true area in square millimeters 48. So now I've got this value that's not correct so I can just click on that hit delete and get rid of it. And so now I can continue to the next leaf control M. There you go. Now I click on this leaf. Now here look at this. You see, here's a problem. If I zoom in, you see that my magic wand is kind of selecting this stain. That's not really part of the leaf. So you want to keep an eye on that. We don't want this to happen. So I need to fix that tolerance again. So I'm going to double click on the magic wand. Here's my tolerance. Now I'm going to turn my tolerance down. Well, when I turn my tolerance down, it doesn't really change it. It only works when you go up for some reason. So I'm going to turn my tolerance down and hit OK. Click off. Click back on. And you see now my tolerance is too low. And so I'm back to my original problem. So I'm, now I'm going to crank up my tolerance. Fix this, fix this, fix this, fix this. And see now that's much better. Now I'm selecting the area, but I'm not selecting this little stain here. So I'm going to hit OK. And now when I hit Control M, now I've got an accurate measurement. So you just keep working through all your images, copy everything to the spreadsheet, and those are the data that you need to work with. Let me know if you got any questions.